Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. In this series we are going to learn how to customize your own database and your own Udo with no code. Okay, everything will be done using this screen, the UI, your own web browser. Today I'm going to add sequence with no coding. I will not start my own PyCharm, I just have this browser. I only have this uh, Udo 13, okay? So I'm going to uh, teach you how to customize or add sequence with no code, okay? So for this video, I need to make sure that you have contact installed, okay? This one here and also um, the module automated, okay? Automated action uh, rules, okay? So let's start. Assuming that you have this contacts, okay? It's already there and you want to let's say add uh, want to add a reference here which is empty if you could try to create a new customer let's name him customer one for example and save the reference is still empty but you need to add you know a sequence you need to add a, a serial number for this customer and usually you do this in code using IR sequence and so on but if you wanted to add this on the fly you can you know um, add the sequence using technical and make sure that you are activating the developer mode so that you can have this menu here technical so I'm going to find the sequence here we are yes here we are I'm going to create one customer reference sequence okay the code this will be let's say what we are using to um, create or generate the new sequence. So I will make it customer dot ref dot sequence. The prefix I will add it customer. Add in the slash. The sequence size is the number of digits to be added. So I will make it three. Okay. So I think we are done with this. It's really easy it's really simple you just need to add this information here save it okay so how to you know set the reference in the customer on creation when but by or let's say adding this sequence here to the reference which is empty right now actually you, you we are going to use the automated actions the model that I I wanted you to install in the beginning so where it is Mm -hmm. Okay, I cannot find it. Yes, here we are. Automated actions. So I will create one and I will describe what it's going to do. Add customer reference. And this will act on contact. I was trying to address partner. Now it's contact. The trigger condition is on creation. So once you create the record, it will add this uh, sequence or trigger this action. What it's going to do? I will use execute Python code okay and don't worry I promise you it will be very little code okay um, this help here you need to remove because you are going to write our code here and don't worry the same thing here is in the tab help okay so I'm going to do this I'm going to remove this all and we'll add reference it will be record oh, I'm sorry it will be env I R dot sequence it's similar what we are going we are we are already done and and uh, by charm dot next by code and we need to add our code the one we already expand that we are going to use to generate the sequence And here we are, we are going to use record dot dot write. This our M method. This is the name of the field we are aiming to add. And this is a variable we are okay, we have created here. So you can read this and you, I'm I'm pretty sure that you will understand what's uh, what is going on with this and please don't worry. In, in this series we are going to add more videos about how to use this so on the fly we have added this automated action so now on creating a new contact 
it will execute a Python code and here is our Python code okay but I need to add a condition here okay to limit the modification to be the ones with a reference to be is not set so if it's empty okay it will execute this Python code when creating a new contact on creation of contact um, it will check if it's not set it will execute this Python code it's really simple so we have the sequence we have the automated action so everything seems to be fine if we added another one let's name it customer 2 okay just by saving this we have this customer 1 get it on the other one customer 3 save and the sequence seems to be working fine it's now you know there are three numbers or three of digits this is the size let's change this here make it four or maybe five okay this will change the size of the sequence here so let's create another one customer I'm not sure it's four I believe so save now the number of digits has been changed so you can you can find this size here so you can also change this you can you know and in, in uh, the automated action you can you know select whatever you want I mean uh, other field if you want to you can set the values for any uh, other fields when creation this was really simple so wait for us in another video we'll do 13 with no code thank you